I don't want to talk about how much whiskey I just got on my blazer. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us for your dose of Weekly Whiskey with John and Jay. Weekly Whiskey is made on Mackie. And if you'd like to find out more about the top-notch studio gear we're using, you can check it out on Mackie.com. Hell yeah, Mackie rocks. We're loving the gear we have going. And that means it is time to talk about whiskey. John, we have some fancy flights here tonight. What are we, uh, what are we drinking? What are we talking about? I'm just going to dig in, man. I, I don't want to keep talking. I want to get to drinking this. Hell yeah. Go ahead and hit us. Get those uh, notes going. This is a 16-year Canadian rye. It's finished in Martinique rum, Madeira, and apricot brandy barrels, and it is bottled at 65% ABV. So this thing should be nothing short of flavorful and a total rye bomb. You know, seagrass was awesome. We loved it. Uh, a whiskey of the year. Totally deserving. Let's see if this dials it up a notch. What do you think, John? Mm, it is dialed up. Holy shit. Oh, boy. Nose is big and punchy, man. Full. A ton of the nose. You get a lot of that fruit. You get that rum influence. A good spice of rye. And then there's a nice caramelly type of sweetness in the background with it, too. Yeah, it, it like starts big fruity, starts big sweet. I could, I would not have picked this out at 65% blind. No chance. Really long finish. This, uh, I was kind of worried. They changed the formulation up a little bit because the... Regular seagrass is a blend of Canadian and American, you know, whiskeys. But the gold label, I guess this is the gray label seagrass, is all Canadian. Right. I was worried that I was going to really tinker with things, but wow, this is rich. Yeah, I mean, it adds a huge, rich, nice, like, dark rye bread background to it. But it also comes in with, like, a really just, like, great coating and a nice dark profile, a good structure of oak behind it. I mean, this thing is rounded it is balanced it is complex fuck it's good <laughs> i i feel like that's that's really all we need to say here but you know for me mm. the nose is really inviting and i love this big long finish so the really important question here john regular seagrass is about 70 to 80 maybe 90 in a high market but still worth it every day of the week you know that's one of the evergreen line it's always going to be around I believe this is going to hit around 250. You you still think it's good? You still I think as a limited like a limited edition that you're probably going to buy a bottle a year. Mhm. Mm yes. Okay. Th this is this is right there. This for me is like the uh Whistle Pig Boss Hog 8, something that's unique, exciting, delicious and fun. You're not going to find something like this someplace else. So yeah, I I'm thinking thumbs up all around on this. I mean, knocked it out of the park. I'm with you. My only complaint with the regular seagrass is that the nose is so so, and it makes up for it in the palate, the right. body, the finish. This completely erases that for me. This is uh, love it, love it first sniff. And at 250 bucks, honestly, I'm gonna buy two. I'm gonna crush the first one, take it real slow on the second, and hope to God they release it the year after because mm, the finish on this is eternal, man. It's eternal. St still going. And you know, if if you were afraid of Martinique rum, which is crazy and off the charts. If you enjoy this, maybe maybe make this your shot. Give it a go. I would say so. And with that, guys, thank you for catching your dose of Weekly Whiskey with John and Jay. Hell yeah, guys. Thank you so much. If you are enjoying the content that we're putting out, if you love hearing about the different whiskeys we're trying or the different, you know, can't find this, buy this instead series we have going on, you can go ahead and join us over at patreon.com slash the whiskey net to join our community. We have lots of insider whiskey information. You can ask us questions. And from time to time, we do really cool tastings privately. So go ahead and join on up. It'd be great to have you. Don't forget to check out our studio sponsor. You can catch them on Instagram at Mackie Gear or on their website at Mackie.com. Loving the gear we have here in the studio. It is a real treat to be able to put on, you know, the kind of shows that we're doing with the gear that we have here. If you're looking for more from John, you can find him over at thebourbonfinder.com and on Instagram. And as always, I am Jay at whiskeyraiders.com where the Rotten Tomatoes of Whiskey. I'll have a review up soon. And in the meantime, it has been great to have you. So go ahead, find some of this and join us because I'm going to be drinking this for a long time. Cheers, guys. Cheers.